Hey guys, what's going on? It is Wisdom Wednesdays, and I want to get back to what we've been doing. So today I want to talk to you all about sex, that hot button issue that everyone likes to talk about, but a lot of people seem to be too afraid or ashamed to actually bring up. I recently wrote a blog piece for my blog, Artisan and King, called For the Love of Sex and Relationships, and it's now been posted to Huffington Post, um, their blog as well. And in it, I state that I am an involved human being. I am emotional, I am sexual, and I am proud of both of those things. I am a mature adult who has grown up and understood that sex comes in many different forms and is done between two consenting, mature adults, and there's a lot of emotion that comes with sex. You know, there's lots of people who think that sex is just this physical act, but it's not. And whether you are someone who is promiscuous and is able to have casual sex, or someone who is way more relationship-based and really likes connection, you're going to give a part of yourself up every time you are intimate with someone. And that is extremely important to remember as you grow and as you change and as you evolve and meet new people and decide to take your clothes off. I think that there's a lot of shame placed on sex for unnecessary reasons, and I think that we need to understand that it's okay to be educated and well-spoken and all these other things that we think of as like, you know, conservative, nice qualities, but also sexual. It's a really hard line to walk today for a man or for a woman because you're expected to kind of be one thing. A lady in the street or a freak in the sheets or you know a nice boy next door or this raging man whore and I want to know why why is it that we feel this way I mean there's pressures on us to be perfect I know I feel it constantly I don't know if you guys feel it let me know in this section below tell me your thoughts on this but I think it's wild and crazy that there's still these ideals of four different women from Sex and the City, and we don't have even the same idea in terms of men characters, or that men are still allowed to talk about sex and have multiple partners, but women are supposed to be virginal and pure till the day they get married. Now, I am never going to throw my own ideals on someone and say this is the only way, because that's just ridiculous. There's so many different ways in this world and so many different things that I can't account for in your life. So to, to sit here and tell you what I think you should do is silly. However, I think that we have evolved as a human species, as a giant global society. And for us to simply say that being a virgin is the only way to get through to marriage is a little wild. We live much longer than we used to. The ideals that we have instated within American society are based off of old Protestant reform that is purely outdated. We're getting married later, we're having a lot less children, and the divorce rate is skyrocketing. If we're actually going to be successful in these relationships, in these developments that we are creating as human beings, then we're going to have to start to change the way we look at these things and maybe consider what does it mean to be married? What does it mean to be in a healthy, loving relationship? What does monogamy mean? What does not being monogamous mean? All these different qualities and actions and different ways of living are a part of our life now. And we need to have a conversation and we need to open up and we need to be honest with one another because a lot of what's going on in successful relationships is not being spoken about. And a lot of what's going on in unsuccessful relationships is not being spoken about. And we need to understand why. Are we placing too much emphasis on external validations from our levels of dopamine being spiked from likes and friend requests and all these crazy other social media things? Or are we not placing enough value on the fact that maybe it's time to turn off your phone and just sit with the person you love and look at each other and be naked and have fun and, and enjoy each other from the most pure and almost genuine thing, which is just being naked emotionally and physically. You know, I was really nervous to talk about sex for a long time because, first of all, I don't think it plays well when you're looking to partner with brands and companies 
but as you guys know, I'm definitely on my own little mission. But the other thing is, is that I didn't know who I was for so long and how I felt about a lot of things. And as I grow up and as I talk to more of my mentors and understand that there's different ways to be an adult, I'm not afraid of topics like this. And I am more than happy to answer questions that you guys may have. I think that sex always needs to be understood from a very deep place and that it needs to be between, again, two consenting adults. I hear too many stories about little kids who are 13 and 14 and 15 and maybe sometimes younger having sex and needing to have an abortion or not being prepared and feeling overwhelmed by the pressures. And this to me is not okay. You need to be emotionally stable. You need to be secure in who you are before you even think about getting naked with someone else. I know that there's still a lot of insecurities that build up within myself before I decide to be intimate with someone for the first time. But to be 13 and going through that seems like a crazy mind-boggling experience. So the message I want to leave with you guys today on this Wisdom Wednesday is that I do like sex a lot. And I'm not sorry for saying that. And if you follow me, you know that it's a lot more than just sex when I say I like sex. I like the connection. I like getting to know someone. I like getting to show my soul and my passion from this otherworldly experience that says we've decided to do this and it's going to be an experience hopefully of magic and beautiful and smart choices. So I hope that you too are making those decisions when you are deciding to get naked with someone. If you liked this video, please let me know by giving it a big thumbs up. Thumbs up, let me know that you care, that you like this, that you want to hear more topics similar in vain, and that maybe more talks on sex. Who knows? Uh, secondly, if you have not subscribed to my channel already, what are you doing? What you waiting for? You should click that little button up there right now. It lets you know when a new video is up and ready to go. And last but not least, if you haven't already left a comment in the section below, then do so now. Let me know what's going on. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think on this topic. Until next time, you guys, much love. Over and out. Bye, guys.